who works in the insurance field and has been doing so for about 10 years. Works for World of Insurance and Risk Management Company. And she's speaking from the Entertaining Speaker Manual, Project 1, the Entertaining Speech. Her speech title is My Poor Life. My Poor Life. The objectives of her speech are to entertain the audience through the use of humor and or drama drawn from your own personal experience and to organize an entertaining speech for maximum audience impact. Her time is five to seven minutes. Please welcome Tweet Wong. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and welcome guests. If you've been here through my 10 speeches, from the first one as the icebreaker to the last one of this competent communicator manuals, probably knows a little bit about me. But if you've not been here through those speeches, I tell you a little bit about myself today. I am a tough, yet soft person. It's very easy to make me cry. I have a button right here. All you need to do is just push. I will cry like a baby. <laughs> I also have this couple of laughing buttons somewhere here. If you push, you probably need, you might need a, a pair of ear gloves. That's going to be loud. Try to watch a comedy show with me or a comedy movie. You're going to be happy. <laughs> Anyway, my speech today is about my full life. When I was my when when I was nine years old, back in Vietnam, I earned a living by selling donuts around the street and around my neighborhood. I was wondering, I don't know if my mother ever measured my hand to make sure that I can handle the trade well. So one fine day, as we were poor and rent, I wore a poncho. Like my tray donut right here, I put a poncho over it, and I carry around. But some somehow the, the donut just kept falling <laughs> one after another, just falling on the street. Imagine donuts met water, all the white sugar gone, replaced by a very yummy season in Saigon brown. Dirt. <laughs> you know what I did? I just pick it up, <laughs> blow, blow, and wipe, and blow, and wipe, put it back on the tray. <laughs> Carry all out around the street and around the neighborhood, and act like nothing happened. <laughs> and I, 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 I was lucky that I, I saw all of Donald. <laughs> One day that I can, I could come to America, the land of the opportunity, the land of prosperity, so that I can change my life. But guess what? I came here in 1999. I stayed with my uncle family. He gave me a 1986 uh, Mazda 626. It was like about 13 or 14 years old car. It's pretty in good shape. Wow, it's was wow to me because that's my treasure. I never had my car because before all I had was a toy and now I had a real car. <laughs> and it worked just fine. And one fine day in summers back in 2000, uh, temperatures is around 105. I was driving on freeway, I-45 with a 455 air conditioner, air conditioning system. 455, like, by the way, four and four window downs and <laughs> 55 miles per hour. <laughs> you know, and the car had, and the car didn't have AC. But uh, other than that, it worked just fine. And uh, suddenly, I was driving and coming along the way, and I saw the smoke came out of my, my hood, you know, the, the car hood, and then 
Oh my God, please don't do it to me. Don't do it to me because don't cry because don't cry. So I was lucky that I managed to cry and, and pull over the shoulder. And, and I remember that my uncle gave me the, the piece of cardboard and he said that, okay, I, I put the piece of cardboard in the back of the car in the trunk. You need to use it when the car gets overheated. So I went around, I pulled out the piece of cardboard and I <laughs> I'm fanning, fanning away the smoke and fanning the smoke away on the highway under the hot sun and it wasn't fun. <laughs> Alright, so life is tough everybody. Life is tough but, but how to look at it. Life is a game. Play it. Play it. And I just found several favorite quotes that I think that is applicable to my situation. Love your life, your life poor it is, but you perhaps find it pleasant and thrilling and glorious hour even in a full house. And sometimes the that the sun is reflected through the windows of your poor house as a brightly as through the rich man above. You never, you, you never know that how strong you are until being strong is the only choice in that have, that you have left. So I just keep thinking of those moments and smiling away. I smile, I smile my, I'm smiling because of those moments that make me feel happy. And I'm truly happy with what I have now. So sometimes I still think um, my next car is going to be an Audi R8. <laughs> a red one, a red one, not white. <laughs> Okay, let's take uh, one minute, Mr. Timer, and write a love note to our speaker, please.